Okay, here we're going to give you the rundown on the um, Dig Dig alternative um, that was developed by Android Device. Uh, it was originally developed by Android Device, us, um, to have a less uh, resource intense social bar, uh, floating bar. Um, so here we go. We'll start with the website that uh, does not have any kind of social media added to it currently any um, sharing other than a follow. Um, let's come over here. We're going to go to the admin area and the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to plugins if you have something already there and we're going to want to deactivate Dig Dig if you're going to use the alternative. Um, second we're going to want to go you can add new here if you would like and you can actually search for Dig Dig um, or type Dig Dig Alternative. But if you search for Dig Dig, we'll be the second one just below Dig Dig. AA's Dig Dig Alternative, which we've installed. Um, you install it just like any other plugin. Um, once it's installed, you can hit activate, which we are, this one already activated. And by default, what it's going to do is it will not show up on your homepage by default. It will show up on your sub pages, like it is here. Um, now it will. Um, you'll notice that it's not going to be exactly where you want it right offhand. Um, so what you need to do is go back to the admin panel, go to settings, dig dig alternative, and from there you'll see post location, page location, home location the social networks that you want displayed on your floating bar and which areas to actually show the floating bar now where to show the floating bar it's going to be by default it's going to have posts selected when you activate the toolbar now if you want the others you can go ahead and check them there are no pages on the site we're on so we're not going to worry about that we will do home page um, we do not want dig but we would like stumble. Okay. Now, as we stated before, this bar is kind of far off and it's really high up on the page. So what we're going to want to do is, okay, this is a post. So what we're going to want to do is come here to posts, which is this top one. And this is the location from the center of the page. So if this was zero, your bar would be sitting dead center. It's more, it's the margin basically is what this is. Um, so what you'll do is in order to move it further right, you'll lower this number. Um, so we'll say f roughly 487 should leave a thin line. Um, and then we will take it down a good hundred pixels further. So let's save that. And then let's refresh this page. Okay. So now it brought it down. And it's, then you see how fast that loads. Um, and now we've got it pretty even with our navigation, which is a pretty good spot for it. Um, but you will notice that now the home page, it's still off because we didn't change it there. Um, some people's themes have it different for the home pages they do for pages and posts and everything will be laid out differently or different uh, templates. So in our case, we can make them all the same. So we'll do 47 and 150. Save settings. There it is. So now it's the same there as it is on post pages. Now another thing you'll notice, I mean it's that simple, That's these are your settings and that's it. Um, another thing you will notice though is here we have this uh, checkbox to show the power bar by. Um, while we do appreciate this being checked, um, which adds this little, kind of gives us a little credit there. Um, you can uncheck that if you want and it will remove it from the bar. That way you just have a clean bar with just your icons. So up to you, we appreciate it, but uh, we understand that, that many of you have a certain layout and don't want extra links sitting around. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you 
um, need any help or notice any bugs or just want to say, hey, great job, um, just head over to AndroidAdvice.com and, and uh, let us know how we're doing. Appreciate it.